Hi, I got a uh, an email on YouTube asking me about blending modes within Jashaka. Uh, to be honest, there are some blending modes, but they're not that good. I'm just gonna have a quick over, give you, show you a good overview of it. Uh, I have to admit, I'm not the ex the foremost expert on it, and there are probably other people out there who may have tinkered around with Jashaka who may know how to use this better than I have. They've not really come across that well for me. I'll just show you what I know, and then you can make your own mind on it. So first I'm going to do is I need some images to use for my thing. So I'm going to go into paint and uh, I'll just make up something random for a uh, da -da 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 -da. there you go. Just go. Hmm. Shouldn't have done that. I'm going to clear that because I don't want that. Uh, I want to change the color. Da -da 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 -da. Set to green. Pen. Same green, and we'll just make this little background here. Okay, so that's done now. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. As you can see, I'm just going to tidy that up a second. I've actually got one here I made already early, kind of like Blue Peter. So I'm going to go to the animation module. I'm going to add two layers. And on the bottom layer, I'm going to put on this green image. And then on the top layer, I'm going to put on this blue image. So as you can see, the blue image has completely covered this green image. So if we want just this image, this top image to show through, select our layer, go over to Media, and just click on Key. Because of the black, it kind of automatically keys it out. And as you can see, it's kind of showing through here and here and here. I don't know how to get rid of that. It does work when you've got a flash as well, so if you're doing like a picture of a muzzle flash, you can stick it on top, but it will, as I said, show through. However, with a muzzle flash, you're generally only on there for like a second, or even not even a second, sorry, a frame, or like maybe two at the max. Therefore, realistically, no one would realize. And because a muzzle flare is yellow, it, it kind of works, so it doesn't really matter. But that would be a quick way to make a muzzle flare, for example. Now, if you want to get more complicated, if you click on here, I next in under that media tab, next to clip, grab desktop, IM. There's all these different settings. Uh, they kind of make sense, but they don't because they either they don't seem to work or not intuitively. I don't know. So, for example, let's take a IM destination alpha. I'm guessing that means take the alpha of your destination. Uh, which is probably the bottom, I don't know. As you can see, nothing seems to happen. So I go down here and I change it there. Again, it's... You play around with it and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on your combination of what you're doing. I I honestly don't know what's going on here. So <laughs> uh, I think it's one minus destination and then... No, I honestly don't know. But if you click on grab desktop here, I'm going to go in, I'm going to use this as a mask. See if that makes any difference. So as you can see, theoretically, you can use something completely different as a mask, but as you can see, it creates these weird and wonderful colors in between and not actually doing complete proper alpha mask. And to this day, I've never figured out how to do that. If anyone on the internet does know how to do that, I would be very grateful if you could tell me how to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. So if we, let's say, said that, let's see if we can try and just get that on top. Uh, 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 uh. Source alpha, no, 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 minus source alpha. So yeah, as you can see, you're just trying to figure out, but it kind of very hard to work out. And so it does have these blending modes, but uh, they don't really seem to work or well, they don't really seem to work intuitively and as far as I can see there's no actual great sort of center of use for them except for if you wanted a quick picture where you wanted to overlay something like a, f a muzzle flash for like one frame you could kind of get away with. The only problem with that if anyone's seen my very first tutorial on muzzle flashes is that won't really work with pictures well it's harder to work with pictures because then you're going to have to have lots of different layers inside your animation video, you know, one for each layer, because transparency then doesn't work. So if you've got multiple gunshots, you need a new layer for each gunshot, uh, which is a bit of a pain, really, unfortunately, but hey-ho.
that's what you get for getting this for free and for it not being worked. Ooh. Anyways, uh, yeah, sorry for the bad news that this isn't all that good in terms of blending modes, but very sorry about that. Uh, the person did ask me about whether Wax was better in that regard, and yes, it Wax has a whole host, if I can find it, of blending modes. And in fact, Wax is a bloody good program, to be honest. It's a very, very good program. The One of the big things that irks me about Wax is the fact that it can only accept AVI files. Apart from that, it's a pretty damn good program. Apart from that, and colors, uh, color correction and layering green screen. Those couple of things. Apart from those couple of things, this is actually a bloody, bloody good program. And it's what. And from what I've heard, there's actually there's a Win Morph that comes with Wax as well. And from what I've heard, that's apparently supposedly been even used on some high end feature films. So. Uh, but yeah, if we import something into Wax, and open it up, and then we bring it into here. As you can see, the usability of Wax is probably a lot easier and more stable than thingy so we can actually go in here we can actually uh, set our blending modes on top here and that's really good and as you can see it works and you can play around with it however you want and do whatever you want okay thank you for that and uh, carry on doing whatever you do bye